JLC Live in New England. This is a fantastic show, guys. I've gone for many years, but I wasn't able to make it this year. So instead, our Build Show Network contributors are covering the event. We're going to see what's the coolest, what's the newest, what's the best from this year's show. Let's get going. Hey, it's JLC Live 2022. Feels good to be back here at the exhibit hall. Wade Paquin here, I'm over at the Recon booth. Something really caught my eye here that I think is just super cool, innovative technology. We've got the uh, T1 digital tape measure, and uh, what are we calling this, the M1? The M1 caliper. Caliper, so we're gonna do a live uh, demo of simulating a carpenter being up on a roof. Instead of yelling measurements down to the cut man on the ground, he can actually just, with the press of a button, enter those measurements in and they get sent down to the M1 device here so that guy can just quickly start making those cuts. So I'm gonna have Christian walk through a live demo of this. Yeah, well thanks for stopping by Wade. So today we have the T1 Tomahawk, it's our recent digital tape measure built for the job site. Um, give a quick demo before we jump into the uh, data transmission. So on the top here we have a live screen which is always gonna display whatever measurement is of the extended tape measure blade. And on the side we have an e-paper display which is gonna be a running tally of the measurements which you can reference later on along with a unique code for each measurement to make sure you don't lose track of them. So uh, one of the great applications for this is sharing data across the job site and not shouting down to the guy on the saw or elsewhere on the job site to find it. So if I'm up on the ladder making a measurement and I record a measurement at 21 and 3 eighths, I'll hit the record button on the side here and then next to the miter saw, I have my phone, which is connected with the Rock app, and you can see the measurement populated on there, making it easy for me to make the cut on the M1 and then mark it as complete when I'm done with it, making it a very streamlined process and uh, allowing the data to go across without losing any information in the process with it. Zach Detmore here on The Build Show with Chuck, talking about Pam Fast Gun. It's a little bit new because it's cordless now? It sure is. So what I understand about this is you offer it in DeWalt. And Makita. And Makita. Yep. And then if you want to get a Milwaukee one, it has to be a completely different tool because you can't pick a platform. Mm. Unfortunately, we don't <laughs> offer it with Milwaukee. And the reason for that is because this is a tool that we really want to be able to serve as a whole home fastening solution. Everything from drywall to uh, PT decking to subfloor. Right. And with that, you need a little bit more torque than you'd have in a higher RPM, 4,000 RPM motor. Uh, it just so happens to be that both DeWalt and Milwaukee make a 2,500 RPM motor that really serves like the, the needs and does the sweet everything spot. for us. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So this one, you don't even have to pull the trigger. You leave it locked and you just go for it, right? I've been, I mean, I think the value here, just like any cordless tool, is the fact that electricians suck and they never have enough power on the job site. So now we can, I use this mostly for creaky floors, sure. like in a retrofit, yep. just running around. So having the, not to deal with the cord is pretty nice, especially because we're doing like a 2000 square foot house, you're yeah. all over the place. Absolutely, I mean, the thing was designed to incre increase productivity on a job site. And so, so in and of itself, having a cord there doesn't make sense. Right. Pulling that cord off speeds you up. So that's pretty much it, it's a cool tool, and you can also make it shorter, right? Yeah, so, we absolutely uh, can. Uh, we also have it, uh, we have it with DeWalt, and we have a short tool available uh, right oh, over here, I'll show you. Let's swap it out. If you don't mind, Ernie, I'm gonna take this for here, a second. Here you go, take this one. <laughs> so the DeWalt tool uh, doesn't have the same auto on, auto off features that Makita right. tool does, just a feature of the motor itself. But uh, you turn it on, set it to the auto run feature, and you can just let it rip. Right. Let's try it. Just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. I like the Makita one better. <laughs> there you go. Heard All it right. from Zach. Thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next booth. Hey everybody, Steve Basic Architect from the Build Show. We're live at JLC, and we're at the Sashko booth. Got my good buddy Nathan. Nathan, turn this around so everybody gets to know who you are. There you go. There, there you go. go. And. Uh, Nathan's going to tell us all about their family of products. Look at this. It's like sealant heaven. That's right. So, Talk to me, Nathan. So all of our products are kind of known for their durability, right? Elasticity, give, low tensile strength, and adhesion. Cool names, Big Stretch, which is uh, one that you see around a lot. A lot of builders use it. All builders love it. I've never come across anybody that had a bad word to say about Big Stretch. That's right. We, we got Big Stretch. That's kind of our windows, doors, and siding product. 
use it for crown molding, trim. We, we texture that sometimes to make more flex. So this is a mortar or stucco repair product. So gotcha. instead of mixing up a batch of powder, you, you, you throw that in a caulk gun and you're done. You've also got slabs. So this is the same thing for concrete. For concrete. Then we've got big stretch basically without pigment in it. So you take a water-based paint, you dispense that. You get injected in there. in there. That's right. And basically color code it to whatever color that you want, right? That's right. So, so you can get metallics, you can get stain, caulking, what, whatever color you can dream of. So that of. way there when we're on the interior, when, when we're trying to get that up to something that's of a, a different color window or whatever, we can perfectly match it. Exactly. And that's then awesome. we also have it with enzymes that break down oils from your hands or from food so that mold can't grow on the surface. Right. We also have our solvent-based family of products. So Lexel, hopefully people know and love. It's easy to find because it's the clear one, right? Gotcha. It looks like glass. And then through the roof uh, is, a, is a similar product. It's a little thicker for roofing applications for ceiling And you flashing. even do things like you guys have custom applicators that you can apply here so that it gives this nice fan bead That's right. That's across right. So the roofing is, material here. This is our Cobra lap joint nozzle. So, so you're not no sitting there required, trying to figure right? out how am I going to get it to look nice and neat like that. That's right. You guys solved my problem. It's already cut to a 45 for you. And uh, somewhere around here there's a, there's a cap, right? So you can even, if you're done using it for the day, you can cap it so that it won't cure in the in the tube. There you go. That's awesome. Well, before we go though, we got to do the test, we right? We got to do the test. We got to do, do the test. So, do, do you want one of these? No, no, no. You, no? you you might have seen in past videos. You know, Matt, Jake, these guys come out. They get handed these little pieces, and they do this, you know, silicone test against your test. But we're not going to do that today. We got a real test, right? So we have the silicone and then we have the Sashko product. And you can just see, Sashko product goes on and on. Jake Bruton here at the Westlake booth. And I want to show you something you might Remember this product as Boral True Exterior, Boral Siding. Well, now they're under the Westlake family brand. And one of the things that's cool is the lap siding is back. It is full thickness all the way through. It's not tapered, but they make it in a 5 8 and they make it 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 inch. You can get a really big match, something that's existing. I, uh, I actually have used I used this way back when, when they made it before, I used the 12 inch version to actually match 12 inch lap siding that was like 150 years old and you couldn't tell. It comes with that realistic wood grain out of all the like, we're gonna fake it because it's not actually wood products. This is probably the only one that I think looks like wood grain after it's painted. Or there's the smooth with just a light uh, etching to it. Here's the cool part. They make a two by, uh, they, they make a two by stock now I can just use a two by as my outside corners and it doesn't look that big, even though that you're using a 5 8 board that's then lapping because that's poking out quite a bit. But you get a little beefier, a little meatier. The product is fly ash. It works like wood. It cuts like wood. It doesn't whelp when you run a screw in it. And if you've watched any of the Hilltop Arrow stuff, this is the product that we put on that house just in a different uh, profile. So. They're Westlake now, they're not Boral, but this product is true exterior. Check it out. Hola amigos, I'm Doug. And I'm Wade, and we're over here at the Abitron booth. Doug, what do we got here? Well guys, what we have is a really cool filler, kind of a body filler of sorts for wood that is gonna be able to help you rehabilitate some old wood. You know, like let's say you've got some rotted wood or a historical project where you really need to keep what you've got in place and replacement of that actual wood is not a good solution. And so Wade, you know, in the past I've reached for something kind of like a Bondo and this is that Bondo right here, right? And that's worked reasonably well, but it has its downside. Sometimes it has a little bit of shrinkage, kind of like you see with this. Um, this is actually a polyester 
and I wasn't aware of that, but it is. And this is an epoxy, right? So it's different. And how you do this, Wade, is you take this guy right here and you kind of prep your material, kind of like so. Like a primer. It acts like a primer, but it also does something else too. It acts as an anti-fracture membrane to a degree, right? So you still have the two dissimilar materials with these two guys, being that this is the wood and this is this body filler. So you need something in between that's just gonna kind of allow a little bit of elasticity so that if you have this expand and contract a little bit, this is gonna go with it, right? Right, so yes. you don't have that shrinkage here and create those gaps like you do with the tradi traditional that, Bondo. That's right, that's right. So after you apply this, then you go on top of it with this guy right here. So you mix your A and B, you kind of do it like Play-Doh, right? And you get it all together and then you sculpt it and it's really cool. And then after that, you can even throw on some of this in the end and just kind of go on top of it and it helps kind of give us a little bit of a solvent effect so you can kind of get it exactly the way you want it nice and, and then workable. right right and then within three to four hours dude you are good you can Ready sand it sand. down you can prime you can paint you can do whatever you need to do super cool products a couple cool applications and common applications for me with this I in bet. my area with a lot of historic homes, right? We see a lot of historic sill rot right at the window, right? Oh, 100%. And imagine if this was the uh, the girder sitting on top of an old, like, you know, loose stone foundation, right? Mm -hmm. Two, 300 year old building. This We see this a lot. Yeah. And to minimize opening up a home to cut out and replace a section of that beam, what a great product here to infill. And we were talking about this a little bit earlier with the product rep where if we had a large beam and we had a large mass that we needed to fill, he had a great idea applying some dowels he sure did. into the beam to help hold the material up so you can shape it and sculpt it to get this nice and flat and plumb. Right, or also some fiberglass mat was another option right, too. Right, right, yeah, yeah. super cool. Yeah, so I can, I can see a lot of uses that I personally will have with this and I was really thinking about you, that's why I wanted to grab you and show you this booth. And so I love it, I'm definitely gonna use it in the future and uh, I think it's gonna replace my Bondo scenarios, especially for the exterior. Certainly on the yeah. exterior, yeah. yeah. Certainly on the exterior. I'll probably still use some Bondo on the inside, but a great product. Yeah. Wade, thanks, I appreciate it, buddy. Hey, Build Show, Steve Basic Architect here. I'm out at JLC Live and I'm at one of my favorite boots, Benjamin Obdike. You know how much I love rain screens and Benjamin Obdike makes my job real easy when we're talking about what type of rain screens to use, what type of products so we can get that drainage, you know, my favorite, down and out, how we can get some ventilation behind the wall to dry. They have a whole bunch of wall solutions here that you can shoot from their Home Slicker product which is basically this plastic mesh. You can see the shingles and stuff go up on that. It's a drainable rain screen. So if I pour water behind there, you've seen some of my videos, that flows through. We have this uh, furring strip here, which is actually multi-directional. Um, I did a video, I, I actually didn't have a whole lot of faith in it working horizontally, in a horizontal orientation with vertical siding. And we did a test and I was absolutely amazed at how well it worked, right? So you have some open joint cladding here. They make a building paper here for UV protection that if you choose to do the wider joints on the UV or, uh, open joint cladding there, you get that UV protection. They also are the makers of HydroGap, which is basically a weather resistive barrier, but it's got this series of dimples uh, embedded on there so that when you put your siding on there we get that drainage behind there that it doesn't look like much but super effective and for those of you that don't want to puncture it believe it or not they make this great hydrogap SA and the SA stands for self-adhesive so basically it's like a giant piece of tape you can see here that you put it up roll it out it's pressure sensitive and uh, you get that rain screen and you put it up like tape. Let's jump over and we'll talk about some uh, roof ventilation materials and ridge vent materials. So not only do they do wall ventilation and wall rain screen systems, but they also do a lot of roof ventilation, ridge vents, etc. We use these products a lot. You've seen a couple of my videos where we talk about doing cedar sheathing on the roof. Now obviously they have uh, asphalt here, but 
when we do the wood sheathing we or wood shingles, we want that to breathe underneath. We want it to be able to drain, dry out, all of that. So we use this product called Cedar Breather. And basically it is this thicker mesh that we can put those wood shingles right on top and we get that ventilation under. Consequently, I've done a lot of projects also where we've used Cedar Breather on the wall. So it's not just for the roof. If you wanted to use it on the wall and put siding over it, you can. They have their ridge vents here that are nail on with the mesh. They also make, you know, these preformed um, ridge vents here. And the thing that I really like about these is that you could put them on low slope roofs. So when you're getting that blown rain or blown water up the roof, which can happen on the seacoast very easily, you actually have this dam here that's battling it. And should any moisture get in, they actually build in some drainage ports there. So if water does migrate and get in on this inside, it ha has a way to be water managed to be released when the wind isn't blowing up against that. But anyways, Benjamin Obdike, you know, I, I would look for them when you're looking for rain screens, um, different types of ventilating systems on your roof or wall systems. They're certainly one to go check out. All right, so I almost got caught but there's something behind the curtain here that Benjamin Obdike just showed me. We're probably a couple months out from it coming out and being public, but I gotta tell you, stay tuned. Benjamin Obdike is bringing the heat and bringing the drainage. Stay tuned. Hola amigos, we're here with Velux and we've got a Cabrio balcony window. So this is a super cool application uh, that replaces a doghouse dormer. And you get to pop out, kind of like share like a balcony experience, kind of like a little Juliet balcony. And it also closes back up and it does it kind of inspector gadget style. So you pretty much just pull it like this and bring this guy in here. And you're good. Pop it back up. Scrub a dub dub. Bam. That's it. Adios. Hey, everybody. Steve Basic Architect, JLC Live. I'm out at the Huber booth. You know how much I like the Huber family of products. But today, we're not going to talk about the greatness of zip sheathing, zip bar sheathing, or Advantech. We're going to talk about their new product. Their new product is a peel and stick membrane self-adhesive, goes on top of their roof. If you apply it on top of their roof sheathing with properly applied tape, you get a five-year leak-free guarantee, All right? So they absolutely guarantee no problems as long as you install it on top of their system. It's a uh, self-adhered membrane, so it gets put on just like most peel and sticks. But this one here is proprietary from Zip, and you know what that means, right? If it's coming from Zip, we know we're looking good. Hey guys, Zach Detmore on The Build Show with Dwayne at the GoBoard booth. How's it going? It's going pretty good. So, I'm pretty lazy, do a okay. lot of shower pans. If they leak, I lose money, lose my reputation, yes. right? And I use a lot of this product, but I didn't know you had a shower pan. We do. So why should I buy this shower pan? Well, uh, so as you can see, uh, it's kind of a one size fits all. Right. We sell oversized wedges, four of them. So basically this piece is four feet by four feet. Yes. Going from an eighth. One eighth inch to an one and one eighth inch. inch quarter inch per foot slope. So it doesn't basically, it's like the Swiss Army knife of shower pans because I'm not, Correct. I'm not worried about whether you're gonna stock, as long as I'm within these parameters and it's always gonna be a center drain, I can use it. Yes, and so one size fits, let's say most, one size right, fits right. most. Uh, with four wedges, you can actually go eight feet by four feet if you're in the center. 
as the drain is offset, it reduces those dimensions right. by the amount of offset, okay? Right, right. If you want to go eight feet by eight feet, you would buy additional wedges. Yeah, Okay. makes sense. So it's kind of a modular, uh, cut to size, uh, you know, like the Swiss Army knife for shower right. pan. And, kits, and the thing basically. I like about this system, I've been using this for a while, but I didn't never use the pan, is we can use different sealants and we can use different screws. So yes. let's talk about the fastening patterns and how if I don't have your specific screw, right. I can use right. whatever I have. Okay, so we provide uh, a go-board washer, which goes every 12 inches, which is shown here. Uh, go-board fasteners, which go every eight inches. We also allow standard back board screws to be used every six. Right. Roofing nails every six, and a one inch wide staple every six inches. So there's a variety of different fasteners you can use right. uh, to hang our board. You can mix and match and mix you'll and cover match. it. Yeah. And then the sealants, we have an approved list of sealants on our website. So, so instead of going to a specific tile vendor, I can go to a home center, lumber correct. yard, and correct. as long as I'm using an approved correct. one. We're so good to we've go. tested a lot of other manufacturers' sealants that are uh, use hybrid technology, moisture curing, and we have a list of those on our website. But cool. the recommended sealant is GoBoard Pro Sealant, All right. which will give you the 10 year warranty. I think what people are going to mostly freak out about is a lot of shower pan systems that are foam are one piece and you're folding it out and there's no holes in the membrane. Like how, how do you give the consumer the confidence that we're not going to get leaks because we have you know, big holes in here before okay. we put that in? So just like our other products that are installed on walls, we require the eighth inch gap. Right. So that eighth inch gap is filled with the sealant. And this is 100% polymer. It's not a latex, it's not a water-based uh, sealant. It won't shrink or crack. Right. It's uh, permanently flexible once it cures. So just think of it as a hard, flexible rubber so it's joint. It's like arguably more strong yes. than this. Yes, our respect. testing, we actually do tensile testing on the joints and you'll actually rip the foam before you crack the seal. Right. Okay, so just think of it as a, a hard rubber adhesive, okay? Uh, but the important critical thing is to get all the gaps, fill those gaps with sealant, spread the excess on either side, right. okay? So basically you're forming your own foam composite shower pan on site to fit the situation you have. All right, Okay. so let's wrap it up. One type of shower pan, I can use three types of screws and one type of nail. I can use a bunch of different sealants. Yes. So as long as when I'm selling my renovations, I'm selling a center drain and I'm working within this eight by eight configuration, I can pretty much keep this in my shop. Yes. Uh, you could extend out further by using one inch go board underneath and putting more wedges right, on right. top. So there right, is a plus. Uh, who, yeah. who needs an eight-foot right. shower? Right, exactly. Let's be honest. Exactly. It's not a car exactly. wash. <laughs> or you'd have two drains, two drains with two kits, right, two right. shower heads. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. No that problem. Very educational. Hey, everybody. We're still out here at JLC Live, Steve Basic Architect, and I'm out here at the Versatex booth. Now, what is Versatex? Well, they're everything PVC. They handle a lot of trims. They do siding, soffit. What, whatever you can make out of PVC, these guys will sell it to you. They're teamed up with a, a gentleman that can make custom profiles. They have their standard profiles, which I think is somewhere probably close to 30 different profiles here. You can see they have different types of sills. We use a lot of the historic sill in our project. They have a lot of the crowns where we use the Rams crown. They have a couple larger crowns that just came online here. Um, and the crosshead pediment. And then they have some smaller ones here that we use as back band sometimes on products. Column surrounds. You can see they have nickel gap here, different size, sizes. They have V-groove there. You can see they have V-groove here behind me in a one by eight. Um, so yeah, they have the whole host of family of uh, products here. We use them very extensively, trim boards, corner boards, soffits, rakes, all of that stuff. If we take a walk out here, excuse me, boss, excuse me. Oh, shooting video. So here, they actually teamed up with 
executive architectural millwork. And what these guys do is they take the Versatech product and then they'll make custom corbels, they'll make handrails, you know, beaded corners, column surrounds, inside corners, you know, window jams, siding. It's uh, pretty much nothing that we can't make. And, and the beauty of it, we keep, you know, I keep calling it PVC, but the beauty of it is insects aren't gonna hurt it, the weather isn't gonna hurt it, you put it up, it's gonna last longer than, than we are. So anyways, if you're looking for trim products, Versatex should certainly be on your radar screen. Hola amigos. Hey, so I wanted to share something super cool that really caught my eye. I was over here at the Milwaukee Tools booth and I love Milwaukee Tools. And I saw this rocket powered light, right? And it's super stinking cool. You can raise this guy all the way up. And where, what this thing's gonna do is it's gonna be really helpful for scenarios where you need some supplemental lighting and you need a lot of it. So and I've had many experiences doing concrete pours where it's gotten really hectic. We were waiting on a truck or something like that. And you know, we just, we, we ran out of daylight and it got sketchy. So we want the opportunity to be able to maintain control when we're doing construction. And this allows you to do exactly that. So you can go late into the night, you can have one of these on site. Uh, it'll last on these batteries for a good three to four hours at its maximum output. Its output is stinking incredible. It's 27,000 lumens. So normally when you're talking about lighting and stuff, you're talking about the hundreds. This is 27,000 lumens. So it's literally like a small sun that you're bringing onto your job site. So uh, it's a really cool uh, tool. It's a great new technology. And I think it's a game changer, especially when it comes to controlling concrete pours. Adios, amigos. All right, friends, if you've never been before, I highly recommend this show. They do it every spring in Providence, Rhode Island, the Journal of Light Construction Live Show, a fantastic event. I'll be there next year. I couldn't make it this year, but huge thanks to our Build Show Network contributors for making it. Guys, I have a link to each one of their pages on our buildshownetwork.com site in the description below. These guys are shooting videos at their job sites, at their architect's desk, let's say, for Steve Basic every single week bringing you their knowledge and their wisdom i'd love to have you sign up for our newsletter which is going to be linked below so that you can get twice and twice a week emails to let you know what's new on the site but that's how you know what's new with zach or jake or steve or any of the guys or wade shooting videos on the job sites on their job sites all over the u.s big thanks to those guys for contributing today's video if you're not currently a subscriber, guys, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the Build Show. Talk out.